Hello, it's your girl Tina, and I'm an American real estate agent who moved to France with her dog. Thank you all for joining me. Today, I want to talk about my trip of when I went to Marseille for the weekend. Now, this was in May 2019, and it wasn't quite warm enough to go in the ocean, but I love going to a beach. So, if you've ever been to Marseille and you have some travel stories, please leave a comment below. And if you want to, you know, see some more videos from me, please tell me what you want to see next. I always respond. Please like, subscribe, and share. And join me on Instagram if you're over there. I show pictures of my travel and I talk about real estate as well as life and some lessons I've learned. So let's get started. I went to Marseille for the weekend. I took my dog, of course, and let me just adjust the music. Um, so I'm playing a little Adele in the background, but it's on Pandora, so there probably will be a commercial pretty soon. Anyways, going back to Marseille. So I went to Marseille for the weekend. This was when I was actually living with my French professor and his family. And, um, you know, I just wanted to get away for the weekend. I want to see the rest of France and the rest of Europe. So I decided to go to Marseille. By train from ANSI France, it takes about six hours. Now, I'm sure there's a more direct way if you want to take a plane. Um, and I'm sure there's a longer way if you want to take a bus. But uh, the most economical way at that time was to take the train. So, yeah, it was about about five or six hours, a um, couple changes, and um, actually there was an issue with my ticket, and I was getting off of one train and going to the next. I bought my ticket at the machine and not with an actual person. So this is probably a learning lesson for anyone who is traveling um, I would say if you don't know where you're going or where the connections are, talk to the person at the ticket booth where you go to, to buy your train st uh, ticket um, because when you go to the machines, you don't know what you're getting. They had me going to connecting on a bus and then going on another train and the bus was like nowhere, the train, nowhere near the train station. So it was like a little bit confusing and luckily I ran into a person that went ahead and changed my ticket, gave me first class and gave me a, a connecting train to Marseille. So I was so grateful for that. Um, however, it was a great weekend, but not without other things that happened um, and learning lessons. So I'll get into it. Um, when I arrived at the train station, it was beautiful. The city is so grand. Um, there's lots of buses, lots of trains, lots of trolleys. Um, my hotel, I booked on booking.com, and it was under 50 euro. It was not a five-star hotel, but um, what I loved about this hotel is there was um, dog stay for free, and also it was near the ocean. So the ocean was like maybe like a three minute ride, walk, excuse me, to the beach. And it was beautiful. It's a little bit too cold to swim, like I said, but people were still out there like on the beach, walking around. Um, I posted some pictures on my Instagram. If you want to check it out, I'll leave my handle below. Um, what else did I love about it? There was just so many eclectic people. Um, on Saturday, when I the next day after I arrived, I went to like a, a brasserie, and they had um, just like wonderful food at this little small like little restaurant. Um, I had like some steaks, some vegetables, some fries. And I even had like strawberry shortcake for dessert. It was so nice. And then I walked over to the park. It was actually. I believe I'm a university, um, so there was just like lots of students walking around. You can oversee the entire city um, and the ocean and all the boats. It was amazing, the sights that you could see. 
Um, if you guys are hip to some of the R&B artists and rap artists in France, Soprano is a really well-known artist that is from Marseille. Um, he actually does the voice of France. It's a little bit different in France, but he's a host of the voice in France. And he has lots of positivity and lots of songs that are really popular in France. So his name is Soprano. Um, so the next day I went, I went back to the area where there was a, where the train station was a little bit close and I took the bus, um, Unfortunately, I was getting on the bus, I was with my dog, and I got, I stepped on the bus, and then as my dog was getting on the bus, the bus driver took off. I cannot believe this, this has never happened to me before, but I yelled so loud, stop, in French, I was like, stop, stop. My, I mean, I can't even think about what would have happened if he didn't stop at that moment, but my dog was not on the bus. So needless to say, he did not charge me for the bus ride. Um, but it was a little bit like shocking and I still really can't think about it. Um, but I guess I learned a lesson. Like, I mean, I always walk indoors first as like, if you're ever training a dog, you know, you go first, but when you're on the bus, I would say, if you take your dog, always let your dog get on the bus first because you don't know when the bus driver is going to take off and he's not going to be aware of everything that's going on. So learning lesson the hard way. Um, I loved this area and I'll leave the name below. I went to a fish spa. So if you ever want a pedicure and you're looking for a place to go in Marseille, go check out this fish spa. If you don't know, it's where you put your feet into like a, I don't know, like a case of water. And it has these fish that eat the dead skin off of the bottom of your feet. And when I tell you it was like the best pedicure I've ever had, I think that whole summer I didn't need to get a pedicure because the bottom of my feet were like soft. And I love that the, the owner of the store, it was like just closing down, but he left it open for me. He went and got a bottle of wine. There was good music, his son and um, another employee that I absolutely adore was there. And they just made me feel really comfortable and fun. And, um, you know, I'm sure they wanted to go home, but they just like, stayed for most of it and um, told me about the city, told me where I should go next. And I'm even friends with them on social media as well. So check out this fish spa. Um, like I said, I'll leave the information below. Um, but on the last day of my trip, this was Sunday. Um, I don't know what was up with this ticket, but I thought I was leaving on Sunday to go back to Ancy, France on Sunday, but I got to the train station and it was like, oh, you're leaving Monday. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and instead of paying like another 60 or 90 euros to change the ticket to Sunday, I'm like, why don't I just stay another day? Cause my hotel is probably going to cost less than that, you know, and like get one meal or something. It might be worth it. But I checked out of my hotel. It was only for those couple of days for the weekend. And when I left this hotel, I booked on booking.com. They were like, you need to pay for your dog. And I'm like, really? Um, they told me when I checked in and on booking.com that dogs stay free. And that's one of the reasons why I stayed at that hotel. And then he was like, well, you're not going to pay for your dog. I'm like, I would pay if you had a fee, but you never told me the fee and you also confirmed that it was free. So he was very rude to me when I left and almost disrespectful. And I was like, wow. And the hotel really wasn't that great. So I left, went to the train station. And when I found out that my ticket was actually for the next day, I called them against my better judgment. And I was like, uh, well, my 
train doesn't leave till tomorrow. You know, he's like, well, just come back. You know, it's fine. But I was like, I really didn't like the way that you spoke to me and I will still have my dog. He's like, just come back. But as I was like, you know, thinking about it, I was like, I don't like the way he spoke to me. And there's other hotels that I can stay at. And it was really far from the city, really far from the train station. Um, so I actually, at that moment when I was about to get on the bus to go back to this hotel, there was a man who came up to me and was like, what are you doing? Where are you going? You know, like talking to me. And I was like, what? And he was, um, he was one of the, the, um, I don't know, like the maintenance men of the city. Like he wore uh, a visor, like a, a green visor, you know, one of those things. And he had like a cart with like a, a broom and everything with him. He worked for the city and he spoke full English. He was from one of the islands. He was black guy and he was like, and he spoke full French as well. And he was like, you should stay in one of the hotels like near here. I told him I was going back way to this hotel on the other side of the city. And he's like, I'm going to find you a hotel. I was like, well, it's really hard to, you know, um, find um, a hotel with a dog. So he literally took me to three hotels with his cart and his broom um, and he, he looked up and he went inside and he asked him, you know, if they had an avail availability and actually his wife and his children were there, um, waiting for him. And he's like, well, let me just help this lady out and I'll be right back. And it was like, it wasn't awkward at all, but it was like, wow, <laughs> his kids are there. His wife is there. I felt, it felt a little bit awkward, but he was a nice guy. He wasn't like trying anything. And he actually, I told him, you know, I'm from America. I'm staying, you know, on a tourist visa for the year, maybe longer. And he's like, well, my wife is American and she lives in Paris and she knows a lot about visas. So if you ever need any, my ex-wife, if you ever need any help, call my ex-wife and she can tell you about the visa process if you have any questions. And I was like, really? Your ex-wife? And I didn't really like use the number for a while but after I did I called her and like his ex-wife is amazing they are like the best of friends um they are they're Buddhist actually so it was just like a random meeting of someone in the street and what it taught me was you know I felt disrespected the way that the the hotel managed my my dog and me um so I felt like if I went back to the hotel, I was maybe sacrificing some of my my pride and respect. You know, I think one one everyone should always be treated with respect, and if they're not treated with respect, there's other places you can go. Whether it's in a relationship, a hotel, a job, or anything, right? So this person that helped me find a hotel came at the perfect moment when I was deciding to go back to the hotel that treated me disrespectfully. And I just think I just learned a life lesson in that moment. Um, so we literally, me and I think his name was Charles um, or Richard. Oh my gosh. I don't remember, but um we, we walked up this hill for like 20 minutes. He's like carried my bag. And we finally went into a hotel. We stayed, at, not we, we didn't stay together. He just went in and then he left when I checked in. Um, I stayed at a hotel called the Premier Class. And it was great for the evening. I, you know, was close to the train station. They take dogs. They didn't charge me for my dog. And I left the next morning. Um, I think one of the, my most favorite things about Marseille is after I went to the fish lounge, which was one of my favorite moments, um, that fish lounge spa was um, located in the most artsy part of Marseille. I mean, there was people there from all different backgrounds that were very eclectic. There was like street paintings and people eating outside and beautiful architecture, different shops and different um, stores, restaurants. 
and everyone was just like hanging out. It was a very like eclectic kind of artsy place. So I will name the fish spa um, below and then you can see like the area that I'm talking about. And if you wanna see more pictures, like I said, go to my Instagram. But honestly, if you're going to France, I would say add Marseille to your bucket list because it was one of the best weekends besides the issues with what happened with the bus and that one hotel. I will always look at that weekend as one of the best weekends I had in France and would highly recommend it. So if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. And I will do more videos about my travel. And um, I hope that it will inspire you to travel as well. Bisous.